Alright guys, okay, so yesterday was a bit weird. I'll stick on the charge. Um, yeah, yesterday was a bit weird. Now, I've been looking at a certain bike for over a year now, yeah. Um, I wasn't really sure whether to go for one or not, but yesterday was like completely tipped me over the point at that moment. I initially went to the city to get some solder, yeah. <laughs> 60-40 tin lead solder, so I've got some, and um, yeah, I went to the little kiosk that I usually get a coffee, coffee from, and get, I've got a coffee, um, and I thought, on the way out, I'm going to have a quick look in cash converters, see if they've got any bargains, and so I'm locking my GT outside the front. And I barely get through the front fucking door, and it's like literally right there in front of the fucking main um, counter area in the, in the store, yeah. <laughs> it's just literally like three feet away from the main counter area. So as you walk through the door, you got this thing here, and yeah, you got the counter there, kind of thing, yeah. So it's like literally three feet, three feet. And you just walk through the door, and it's like, right there. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Now, you're going to shove that on my face right now. So, I, I actually did a double take at this point. I looked at this bike, and I looked at the shop staff, and I looked at this bike again, and looked at the price. Uh, and I did that, like, three times. And I was like, it's just for real. <laughs> there was literally nobody in the shop. It was like I just walked into the fucking Twilight Zone, mate. Yeah. I looked around the store, I was like, there's nobody fucking here. What is going on? So I look at the guy again, I said, dude. And I said, yeah, get that bike, the bike run, and get that out right now. Yeah, that's mine, I'm buying that right now, I said. <laughs> and he kind of looks at me and goes, yeah, all right, boss. Not a problem. <clears throat> I go, is that, is that price for real? And that says what it says on the frame. He goes, yeah. I said, what's the deal here? I said, do you know how much these are worth? He goes, yeah, like 800 quid. <laughs> anyway, so we're, we're sort of like talking and chatting and getting this fucking deal done. <clears throat> and, I, and I was just said to him, it's a no fucking brainer, isn't it? You know, you're going to see something like that for that price. You're just going to fucking buy it, aren't you? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> so I get... I did the deal, didn't even get to look around the fucking store, didn't even get to get that to, to that part, yeah. Um, so I get out, back outside with this fucking Genesis Croydon Fur I've just bought, the um, Croydon Fur 10 from 2015, yeah, 2015 model, and the black and white paint scheme, right? I mean, you, you can tell this bike, I mean, with that paint scheme, it just stands out so much um, but yeah as a bike that looks like it's just come out of a fucking nice temper it's like what the fuck so I thought right considering I'm dealing with like a thousand pounds worth of bike here yeah I'm just going to take it to the bike shop and get them to service it like now so that's what I did. <clears throat> as I said, this ticket on the bike was on the down tube. You could see it as you, as I was walking this fucking thing through the centre of the city. Past the police, past the security, and past everything. They just don't know, they don't really care what I do in the city anymore. Yeah, I just fucking do what I want. <clears throat> Even lamping fucking crackheads. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Yeah, um, he fall over shit. That's all I'm saying. I didn't push him. Honest, Gov. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we got you on camera, mate. Don't do it again. Mm. You know, so, well, I, I gave him a fucking choice to walk away in the first place. What are you talking about? You know what I mean, uh, but yeah, took it to the bike shop. Um, 
and still with a ticket on it. And, you know, guy comes over, he goes, yeah, what's the deal on this? I said, well, I just bought this, you know. And he looks and he goes, yeah, that's probably one of ours as well. And I was like, oh, that's great. He goes, what's the deal? I said, I need a service. And the wheels are a bit wobbly as well. Give it a once over um, and uh, sort it out. He was like, yeah, all right, no problem. Um, and I said, there's no rush. There's no rush for this. I can wait for this, yeah. I mean, this isn't they're quite fucking busy as well. You know. I just let them to it, let them have it. <clears throat> uh, so that's going to be all professional, professionally fucking serviced at this point now, yeah. I don't, I don't mind spending 35, 40 quid on the service for that. It's well worth it, in my opinion. But, um, as I said, I don't know really what to do with it at this point. Do I... I mean, it's a 55 centimetre frame. It is a little bit too big for what I want. Um, pardon me. But I suppose what I could do is, you know, carefully remove all the handlebars, um, you know, take out all, all the cables from the main points, which is what I usually do. Uh, rear derailleur, front derailleur, all breaking points, just take them off and slowly remove the bars, you know. Um, put on a shorty stem and some put on my spank bit sticks off my GT on that, couldn't I, yeah? Lower the seat, stick a panel on the back, I've got a fucking really machine, yeah. Um, what other thing I could do with it is stick 26s on it, yeah? Just to lower it down to, down to the ground a little bit more. Smaller wheels, smaller fucking centre of gravity, lower centre of gravity, which is what I'm after, you yeah? So I could do these mods on this, uh, but I'd rather get it back, yeah, and sort of like take some video footage of this before I even attempt to do this, right? So expect some fucking footage next week about this bike, yeah, and some possible mods that um, I will be doing to it. Or I could sell it as is for 335 quid, dudes. Yeah, I'm selling this bike for 335 quid. It's a 2015 Genesis Croydy Fur 10, okay? Pretty much fucking standard off the rail bike, okay? It's got a standard finishing kit. This thing hasn't really been messed with, all right? It's got a standard finishing kit and all the rest of it. Box standard, as is, yeah. Um, so if anybody wants it, just hit me up, all right? And I'll sell it. Because um, as I said, I'm already building one. Uh, or I could keep it and use it as is and put panniers on that. I don't really know which way to go at this point. There's too many fucking options and it's just doing my head in. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to cut the video there. It's too long. I've covered main, the main fucking talking points that I wanted to get done today so if anybody wants to ask me any questions about this as well just let me know yeah and whatever but yeah i certainly wasn't fucking expecting that and on top of that yeah uh, i'm scrolling through ebay last night and i see one or two items that are like holy fucking shit you know so i'm currently watching two frames at the moment which are regarded as highly fucking rare, okay? So that's all I'm saying at the minute.